Only a short journey today from Knaresborough. We'll be driving 65 miles up to Durham, where we are going to be basing ourselves for the next seven nights. The caravan mover makes it really easy to hook up to the car. We arrived on site in glorious sunshine, but shortly Storm Hannah is due to arrive where we're camped. So the storm didn't come to very much last night. We had a bit of rain, a little bit of wind, but we're quite well sheltered here. Horrible day today, all wet. But, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in the car and we're going to go over to the east coast because on the weather forecast last night that was showing clear and we also want to visit a fish and chip shop that we discovered when we were last up this way. We're at Seaham. This is an amazing piece of artwork to commemorate the end of the First World War. There's a big drive in this country at the moment to keep the beaches clean. So it looks like they've got the army cadets here today. Simple as a song for a child. These used to be lime kilns. Simple as a lover's touch. I told the uh, officials that the economy was still the same. So they put the life, the flares up to call the lifeboat crew out. The George Army was launched down the slip at five past four into a four seat <coughs> northeasterly gill. Wow. And it's still getting worse. Sure. They, uh, they saw, the, they saw the, the, the flares, so they went round and they picked five fishermen <coughs> off and put them on the George Army. That made ten people on the George Army. Uh, by this time, it's hurricane force conditions. Hurricane force conditions generate an average wave, average wave height of 14 metres. If I can just show you on here, from the high water mark to the light, it's 39 foot, so it's kicking about 13 metres. But an average wave height of 14 metres, that means there's some higher and there's some lower. So we're, we're all into that. The problem, the problem arises when she's got a turn to come into port and she goes broadside to all these big waves. And as she's coming over the bar, or just before she's coming over the bar rather, maybe it's a boat length yon side of the bar, yon side of the south pier, she turns over and she's washed up onto the blast beach. So out of the ten people who were on the boat, the next morning there's only one survivor. So there's nine fatalities. Carol's complaining because four days ago she was in shorts and t-shirt and it's a bit nippy today, isn't it? It's freezing today. Freezing. It's cold north wind. This tunnel takes us under the River Tyne. We 
made it to Whitley Bay. Seaton Sluice. Seaton Sluice for fish and chips. And these uh, were the best fish and chips we've ever had in the UK. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping they're still good, aren't we? We are, because it was about eight years ago we were last here. Eight years ago. This is the place, the Harbour Views. I get lots of funny looks with the GoPro. Oh, yeah. We'll go in the corner. Yeah, which one is it? That one over there? Yeah, tough. The queues can get huge for this restaurant, so there was no way I was going to pass up this table in the corner. That's a regular card. And then look at this beast. I put my hand in there for scale. For all of you wondering, this is curry sauce. Steaming car. Was that good? That's scrummy. Mm -hmm. I can't eat this because I'm too full. Mm. How do you feel after your fish and chips, Carol? Oh, that was the hugest fish and chips. Yeah, we overordered in there. We're not normally that piggy. Um, so this is Seaton Sluice and it's a small harbour that was used to export salt and this harbour used to silt up so they built a sluice at the top there that trapped seawater uh, at high tide and then as the tide went out they could release that water and it would flush the silt back out to sea. Nice long beach. We were lucky and we spotted a seal. What is it? What is it he's got? It is a fish, isn't it? Yeah, big fish. Can you see one? Two. Two. Oh yeah, down there. I can't see any. I can't see any seal. Time was getting on and we had one more place to visit before we went back to the caravan. Oh, what's this place called? Penshaw. Penshaw. We're climbing a hill to Penshaw Memorial, a monument. That's the view the other way. My heart's pounding. The lady here will tell me off for flying my drone later. Carol went up the tower to see the view from the top whilst I set up the drone and took off for a flight. You can see the woman on the ground running towards me with a notice saying no drone flights allowed. I wanted my shot, so I sent it off whilst I argued with her 
over why it wasn't allowed to fly the drone here. Just to make matters worse, Carol starts waving at me next to the woman at the top of the tower. Anyway, by this time I'd got all the footage I needed, so I thought I'd better bring it in to land. And as I did, there was just enough time to show two little boys that they could see themselves through the drone. And with that, it was time to get back to the caravan and have a nice cup of tea. <laughs>